Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll have a look at how to use a placeable toolkit to import FS25 Basecape placeables. We'll start off with our blank map as usual and open up our placeable toolkit. Uh, we want to import from the base game, so instead of linking to a mod folder, we're going to link to the installation directory. Then we can try to import our mods. Uh, or better set our placeable, we go to data placeables, I guess EU and generic, maybe let's go for the bakery, then we can see it can't import it automatically because it struggles uh, with the dollar sign, but we can fix that. So we'll close this for now. When we go to window, we can open up the script editor Look for the placeable toolkit over here, copy everything over, let's close these things down, and in user scripts let's create a new script called placeable toolkit uh, base game, whatever, uh, we'll paste in our copied script, we don't need that anymore. Um, and we're gonna go to line 363 over here, where we are calling the utils.get file name. So this thing is from base game and it gets stuck on the dollar sign, that's why uh, the i3d file can be loaded. Now we can very easily fix this. If we overwrite the file name, um, Let's replace the dollar sign, and we have to escape this with nothing at all. Right before we try to load it, then it will use the mod folder instead, which is our base game folder anyway. So now we can save this, uh, and we can actually press execute. We'll do the same thing as usual, uh, it somehow disappeared on me. Um, same thing as usual, first configure our um, folder where we are going to load placeable from, this is the installation folder. We're going to make sure that the placeable file is linked to the currently open map file. Let's open this up. Okay, now re-import our bakery from the installation directory data placeables bakery and it doesn't do anything because we did something wrong let's see what we did wrong we made a typo over here in file name so let's save this close this up, run this again and um, these two are still correct, so let's re-import our bakery. And now it loads the placeable for us. Over here, we can move it around. No. Okay, what we do need to double check is user attributes over here in XML file name, because we are using base game, we can replace all of the stuff in front of data with the dollar sign again that we removed earlier. Let's save this. Um, let's do another one just to try things out. Instead of the bakery, um, let's go for the sawmill. And place it over here. We'll do the same thing with the user attributes. Remove the first part and replace it with, all, with our dollar sign to load it from the base game when the game loads it. We'll save everything. This should have also saved our placeable toolkit. Now we can close our map. Um, we'll install 
the mod and try it out. We will open the console to see if any errors pop by. We might have a problem with the sawmill. Let's enable flight and check our placeables. So we can see our bakery is already loaded correctly and it's usable in game. But there's still something wrong with the sawmill. So let's have a look. Um, it's expecting the sawmill in the store items. We can do that. Let's go over to our map again and open up our mod description. Uh, we don't have any store items over here, but we do have some over here under map config store items and we can just add the sawmill over here. If we have the exact pot we are looking for, let's go to our user folder and look in the log. This is the one we need. Let's save that up, reload our game. Install our changes and reload our map. And hopefully now the sawmill should load correctly. That was another error, not related to replacements. This already looks great. Let's enable flight mode. And now we can see our bakery, bakery fully loaded, but also the sawmill with the working points to drop off uh, wood. So those are two important base game placeables and how you can use the placeable toolkit with a small little adjustment to import the base game placeables. Have fun!